A. So for day one, I'm using the letter A and I am doing acorn. So if you remember, this is my binder. I am not doing a journal. I am doing a binder. So I'm using a binder. This is the binder that I had created, if you remember. And if not, this is a binder. This was from the Dollar Tree and I had covered it in fabric. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put holes in mine. So mine are gonna be just regular pages. And then this was the back of mine. I like to collage, so I did nothing but collage and I did mine in series of purple because I like the color purple. And then on the outside, on the spine, I did, I used my snippets snippet rolls and then I have a wax seal here and then I have some silver charms here. And then I have a frame here and then it's a wood frame that I had painted and then I have a wood piece that says October. And then I have some mummy cloth and then this was from Tim Holtz as well. So this is what I have. So we're gonna put this off to the side and so what I'm gonna do, since I have a fairy box, if you're not aware, I have a fairy box for sale. It is $40 and I am accepting PayPal payments. And so if you're interested, I have a few left. I have my email in my description box down below. If you're interested, I will be using some items out of my fairy box. I will show you what's in the fairy box. Um, but I have a couple of people who I will have listed down below with their videos who have purchased from me the fairy box. So I will have their uh, videos listed down below if you want to take a look at a better video showing exactly everything that's in the, the box. But I have a book of fairies and this is the two pages that I'm going to use. So I'm gonna use these two pages. I have that that I'm gonna use. I have this napkin that was gifted to me. I don't remember who had gifted it to me, but I thought the colors went really well with it. I have, now I don't know if I'm gonna use all this. I have this wallpaper and I have a piece of watercolor paper and from my antiquarian sticker book I had cut out the letter A I have cut out these two I'm not sure which one I'm going to use yet and then I cut out this is supposed to be the number one. I cut that out of here as well. And I also have from Tim Holtz, I have the number one. But I'm thinking I want to hold on to this because I may use this for when I need double digits. Since I saw that in the back of this book, they have numbers but they're only single digit numbers. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to hold off on using those numbers and I'm going to use these numbers for the single digits. Because this is the only book that I have. I have my fairy box here. So I have my my flowers from the washi tape. Now that's in purple. I don't know if the purple's really going to go with this. So I might not be able to use the washi tape. So that I might not be able to use.
I'm not going to use any of the charms. But we have these. I don't know if I'm going to use only because I already have my picture. We have little fairies here. We have the little butterflies. But these would probably be good. Like we have like the mushrooms and the flowers. We have the the windows. The postcards I don't think would be good. We have the stamps. Those would probably be good. And then, of course, we have the lace. So let's see what we can come up with. So let me put this all back together here. And I'm not going to do all of this on camera because I know this would take me a while. So I just wanted to show you kind of what I'm looking to do. So I'm going to get everything cut and I'm going to get all of this where I decoupage this onto the paper and then I will be back. Alrighty, so this is how far I've gotten so far. I figured we're going to take it from here. Because at least then we don't have as much and it won't be as long as a video if I started from scratch. So as you can see, what I've done so far is I have put down the piece of wallpaper down. I cut down the the two book pages and what I did was I mixed both spiced marmalade and walnut stain on the same dauber and that was the color I got. Now I used Distress Collage Medium on the, the napkin. So you have to remember when you are putting that on top of your napkin, that is going to make your oxide or your distress ink move. So it is going to distort as you can see, but I like that because that's kind of what I was looking for. I want that aged vintage look. So. That's why I was not worried about doing all this inking now. So basically what I'm going to be doing is, and that's why I wanted to use watercolor paper because it's a thicker paper. So I'm going to be laying down the rest of the napkin because the rest of what's going to be put around the white spots is going to be napkin. And then the other piece that I have to put down here is going to be the acorn fairy title. So this I'm going to be placing down here. So I'm going to get out my Distress Collage Medium. I'm going to get my... I'm using an angled brush. And this is a Royal Lang Langnickel 5 8 16 millimeter brush. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay some color down or um, yeah, some color, <laughs> some distress collage. And as you can see, it's moving the color. But like I said, I like that look. And I'm using a silicone mat. So let's try and lay this down. So I hope everybody's going to enjoy this series. Like I said, this is going to be a, a daily thing. 
and I'm going to be doing every day is going to be from the alphabet. So I figured this is going to be something very different. I don't think I've ever seen anybody do the alphabet before. So I'm just going to be picking random words. I'm going to try and make them as much related to October as possible. Trying to figure out how long I need you. Well, we're going to take this piece here. And if I have to fill in, I'm going to fill in like little spots as need be. And I apologize if my arm gets in the way. I only have one napkin, so, because like I said, this was gifted to me. <laughs> so it's not like I have multiples and I don't have anything in this color. So I'm very limited in what I have here. Let's see here. And because of the moving of the color, I really don't even have to really add much to be honest with you. Like there, I don't even know if I really even needed that. Like I don't like that hard line, so I'm gonna take that out. See, I like that much better without that hard line. this gray. So I'm going to try and put this gray down here in the corner here. I am not a person who normally works with napkin, so I am not a napkin aficionado.
Let's see here. I have this whole piece here. Maybe this piece here. I'd rather not use that rough piece from the napkin. And I'm doing this very lightly because I don't want it to tear. Let's do this side. Let's pull this part out. Let's get rid of some of this white one. I don't want all that white. Do here. Let's just do this whole area. I figure the gray next to the gray there would look good. And I'm just trying to rip off these segments here. goes in this direction. Wow, that came out better than I thought. I wanted to use, I had this collage medium sitting in my drawer for I don't know how long. And I said, you know what, I'm going to use this instead of Mod Podge. I always hear everybody talk so highly about it. Now, I think what I'm going to do is I want to incorporate maybe some of this up into the brickwork. Let's try and add just a little bit up here. Let's do just like you have, like if you had climbing roses 
up on your brickwork. That's pretty cool because you can see it faintly, but you can see it. I wonder how the brown would look. Let's try. Let's try this big section here. Let's try that. Let's try that up here. Because it fits that corner. I think that's pretty cool. I think that's all I'm gonna do with that napkin. I don't think I need anything else. I'm just gonna bring that around to the other side. I think that's pretty cool. Let's take a look at it. So like this piece here I could do without. But Alright, so let's put this piece on. So this is going to go down here. Maybe I'll put that there because that'll kind of cover that up a little bit. I'll put my brush into water and get my glue. Because I don't know what anybody said. I, I've seen people say that they can use their matte medium as glue. I tried it up on top here. It wasn't working for me. It wasn't gluing for me. Okay. That is straight, right? Yeah. Okay. So far, so good. I like that. I think number one we're going to put down here. I'm going to cover this white part up a little bit with my orange and brown. Because I don't want that white. Put some glue. And we're going to put this down here. Yeah, we'll put this right here. So then we know that this is day number one. Perfect. towards this one and I'm going to put orange on it if we add that orange and brown I think it'll make it even better I'm sorry I'm shaking the table guys 
Let me add some glue. Plus it'll take up some of that negative space in the brickwork. Now we have our A for acorn. And we'll let it dry. I'll clean her up and then we'll be back. So here is our final project. So I added on a piece of ribbon and as you can see, it has acorns and it has leaves and stuff on the top of it. And all I did was I punched the holes and I put some things around it so that it doesn't get torn. And I think it came out pretty good. So what do you think? So if you like this, please make sure you comment, give me a thumbs up and stay tuned because every day in the month of October, we are going to be going through the alphabet and the next one is going to be the letter B. So what do you think the letter B is going to be? So stay tuned for tomorrow. Take care, everybody. Bye.